on guys, how are you all doing? MJT Reviews, bringing the best in model kit reviews. How are you all doing? <laughs> Hope you all keeping good. And um, today I bring you a very special video because Dave Brown sent me another awesome free kits that I wanted, the free bombers. And I'm going to show you them bit by bit. Um, I don't know whether to just name it the free bombers, but I think I'm just going to do it. Single video, single video, single video, you know, that type of thing. So anyway, hope you like this video. I know my uncle Anne's gonna like this one. So here we go. If you don't follow my uncle Alan, it's Taylor's World. Make sure you go and subscribe with him, give him a few likes. And you need to upload a video, Alan. You need to get on it. <laughs> so here we go. So here is my new video, guys. Hope you like it. This is the Hanley Page Halifax B3. And this is the one that I have always wanted. And this is the one that is based at Elvington, York. I stood underneath it when I went to the air show, um, the air museum. My uncle Alan came with me that day. I like, sat in the um, the DC-3 Dakota. And it was like a mini caravan when I went on there. I couldn't believe how small it was. <laughs> and when I went over to the cockpit, I was like, how the hell did they get in here? It's so small. It was like a, it's like a, a big caravan. <laughs> But uh, yeah, I actually went into the where the hangar bay was, and that's where I seen this Friday the thirteenth. And uh, let's open this up. I don't know when this kit was made, so let's have a brief look on the side paneling, see if I can see any, um, which I can't. And there we go. There's the versions there, right there. So there we go. If you're reading that, Alan, Taylor's World. RAF Elvington York and that's where we went and that's the one that I'm doing guys so if you have any information on when this kit was made then that would be definitely amazing for me guys because I definitely want to know the year it was made um, so I might be able to find it out on the actual aircraft but we'll get to that in a bit because first of all I'm going to take these out so first of all we get the cockpit glass as you all know so there's cockpit glass it's cockpit glass it doesn't look that bad actually so yeah it's not that bad you get what you get you just make sure that you don't scratch it or anything so yeah that's not bad at all put that over there and there we go this is the interesting part there we go Friday the 13th, that is the one. And they're the decals that I am going with. So obviously I'll be making the same one that I stood underneath at RAF Elvington when I went there. If you make sure to go through my videos, guys, if you scroll through quite back a few years ago, you will see my videos um, to RAF Elvington when I went there um, with my good friend Gary and also Alan came with me that day as well. Make sure you go and check that out, or I will put that in the link description below of that video. But it should be there if you scroll down with it. So this is the actual um this is the actual manual. Which is not bad guys actually. It's not bad. I know it's from the old, but it's not bad. So there we go. Get all these parts first, get the fuselage. Then we got all the interior parts, but I don't see the point in putting too much interior inside of it. I mean, once you've closed the actual fuselage, you're not going to really see what's inside of it, are you really? So, but there we go. Let's have a little close up. So once you get all the wings on there and get all the other stuff put on there, this is quite impressive. It's got quite a lot to go on this kit. So, you know. It's going to be a good one. I'm not going to build this one straight away. So I think this one will be a next year build as well. I don't know yet. Well, I'll, I'll let you know. I'll keep you all informed. Um, there's the first one there. Which is Air Force. I think that's Brighton, Yorkshire. Or Breakton. Or I can't really spell. But if you look there, that's where it's based. But there's the one that I'm doing there. Elvington, York. 
that's the one that I'm doing, the one I stood underneath. I, I, I just can't believe uh, Dave Round sent me this. I didn't think he'd send me that this actual Halifax. I've been after this one for so long, guys, so long. And as soon as I finally got it, I was like that. Oh, my God, wow. <laughs> you know, I was over the moon. <laughs> anyway, I am going to open this to let you see what's inside the kit. I mean, there's parts that have fallen off the sprue. As always, thanks, Effie. <laughs> right. Here we go. And there we are. As usual, we have got a pile of rubble. <laughs> so, here we are. Let's have a look. Nice big fuselage here. And yeah, we've got red puddle lines and all. <sighs> Rays panel lines, guys, are an absolute nightmare. Um, and for me, they are because when you go to put the decals on, uh, it's just a nightmare. Some of them just peel off, and you know, so I might have to sand off where the raised panel line is so I can put the decals on. Um, but this one has no date on it, so I'll look at the next one. See if that's got a date. Do it just says thirty seven on it, so it's just a number. Um that's pretty much the same. Same raised panel lines, but I'm not bothered because to be honest with you, by the time it's done anyway, hopefully it will come out to be amazing. So I hope. <laughs> and yep. The wings are raised panel lines as well. But to be honest with you, you can expect that from an older kit anyway. So that's why I was saying uh, I, I wanted to know its age because I don't know when this kit was made. And judging by <laughs> judging by the raised panel lines, I can tell that it's quite old. Um, so, But I'm not letting that put me down because I do like the vintage kits anyway. So... This one will probably get looked after the most. And I'm definitely not getting rid of this, no way. I mean, it's a Halifax, why would I? <laughs> so, just look at that. Quite nice. And then we've got the other part of the wing there. So, that's the other under part of the wing. It's quite a decent size, actually, you know, for 170 second scale, I believe. So it's quite a size. So, yeah, up to 170 second. So, yeah, it's, it's it's not bad. Not bad at all. And these, oh, God, these are the parts. These how This is how bad it used to be years ago with Airfix. You know, when they did everything just on one sprue. Now they do it all like a square sprue, which is a lot more better than this, because... They just fall off in bits, and it just, it's a nightmare, guys. Absolute nightmare. So, obviously, we've got the free spoke propeller blade. And then we've got the gigantic wheels. <laughs> then we've got all your flaps, your ailerons, your engine cowlings. You've got some interior, um, cockpit interior and stuff. Now on this one it's a little bit different, but still the same. You've got your propeller blade, then you've got interior parts I can see. Um is that pilot? Yeah, you see bits of pilot there. <laughs> so yeah guys, if it's quite out there. It's gonna be really impressive doing this kit and I can't wait to get it done. Um but like I said in when I first started the video I might just leave it until next year and see what happens so these are the actual engines as you can see there and they've got all the cowlings around them and stuff not bad at all not bad at all guys what i don't like about it the most is the fact that you're left with basically that because they just like to cram everything in one bag airfix and just let everything just fall off the sprue and you know 
to be honest with you, you need to sort that one out, I think, because um, it just damages your kit to me, and you lose parts that way as well. So it's not a good look, really, to be honest with you. But you can expect it from the older kits, because the older kits, you know, especially this one here, they're just going to fall off anyway, aren't they, really? So, um... Yeah, all well, together, guys, I'm really impressed with it. If I was to give this one a rating, I would give this one, for what it is, I, I, I'm going to be fair and I'm going to be good. I'm going to give this one... I'm going to give it a solid 8. Just because it's rarity, because it's an older kit, and I think it deserves it, really. I mean, obviously, a Friday the 13th kit and something that I've been after for quite a long time. It's definitely going to be worth it, so... <laughs> Let me just put everything back in there, hopefully. Hopefully, with it being a top loader, it's not going to fall out. So, let me just get the box ready, because I'm going to put this all the way back in the box again. And then I'm going to tape the box up so nothing falls out. So, make sure I've got everything. Close the box. And there we have it, guys. So that was my review of the Hanley Page Halifax B3 and it is the Friday the 13th edition. And if you ever get the chance to go to Elvington in York, guys, I would recommend you go there because this plane is actually inside and what a view it is. Um, when I stood under it, it was amazing. Uh, I, I would have loved to go on it, but they didn't have the side door open, so I couldn't really go inside. It would have been amazing if I did. But the amount of planes that you see there, and you can go on the Dakota as well. And it's amazing, guys. So if you definitely get the chance to, I highly recommend you go there, guys. Definitely. Um, it's definitely going to be one of my memories I'll hold forever. So, And this is one of the planes that I'm definitely glad to have. So I'm going to sellotape the box up, and I'm going to keep it for next year. So I want to personally thank you all for watching this review. And I will see you all in the next one. So thank you very much. Stay connected. Stay tuned into my channel. If you subscribe to my channel, hit that notification bell. And you'll always be you'll always be reminded when I upload a video. So you'll never miss a video, guys. And I want to thank you all for your support. Take care of each other. Look after each other. And I hope you have an amazing Christmas and a happy new year. This is MJT Review signing off. Thank you very much, guys. Bye for now.